and just after two months we have a new version of this fantastic TTS model Dia 1.6 billion. They have made significant improvements in this new version and we are going to install this again locally on our system and we will see how exactly this works. Dia directly generates highly realistic dialogues from our transcript and that is also what I am going to test in this video. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We covered this Dia model around two months ago and even in its first version it was of quite good quality so I really can't wait to test it out in this video to see what exactly the improvement is. Now you can also condition the output on audio enabling emotion and tone control. The model can also produce non-verbal communications like laughter, coughing, clearing throat and many others which we will also be testing out. One of the great thing is that it is Apache 2 licensed. So it means that you can use it quite liberally. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Coda. It's not mandatory, but always a good idea. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Masked Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Our virtual environment is almost done. Shouldn't take too long now. Let's git clone the repo of TI and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now they have made the installation fairly simple which is always welcome thing all you need to do is to make sure that you have this um, uv python manager installed if you don't know how to do it i have done a very easy to follow video it is just three lines or two lines to get it installed so you can see that i have this recent version of uv installed from here all you need to do is to run this command and this is going to install everything on your local system so let me run this this is going to take a bit of a time while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and the first time when you run it it downloads the model so let's wait and now you can access it on your local system at port 7860 which is the usual grid use stuff there you go so we have our nari dia running where we can do some text to speech or text to dialogue synthesis um, it comes preloaded with this sample so let's generate the audio and we will see how exactly this works i'm just going to click on generate audio here it is working let's also check the vram consumption here just going to make it a bit bigger while it runs so that you can also check out the speed so it is consuming you know as usual just under 5 gig and very lightweight very high quality and this is what we also saw in the previous version and i think they have really improved it in terms of vram consumption too which is always a good idea there you go so it has generated it and you see there is some emotion and stuff now as i am running this in my virtual machine and accessing it through vnc so when i play the audio here it sometime it really doesn't uh, do the justice so what i'm going to do i'm just going to download it by clicking here and then i will play it in my browser or maybe just maybe i will try once here let's try it out dia is an open weights text to dialogue model you get full control over scripts and voices wow amazing <laughs> try it now on github or hugging face there you go you see it just there was a bit of a garble at the start so that was my vnc connection not the fault of nari but all in all you can see that it was pretty good okay so this was their example let's try it out with our own example here okay for the next example what i have done i have given it this long script where i have embedded all the emotions which it mentions in its documentation like chuckle and size, uh, groan, humming, 
clear throughout i have also put you know included some of the ones which it hasn't mentioned so let me run this and then we will play it first we will try here and then if that doesn't work we can always go back to our own system so it is running at the moment and there are some generation parameters which you can also specify but i would highly recommend you to just go with the with what they have provided okay let's wait should not take too long i think it will take around half a minute or maybe a minute and there you go it has produced this one let me first play it here <clears throat> okay are you ready for the most ridiculous story of my life i find okay so it, it I really is... got the courage to audition for that play <gasps> okay i'll just stop it let me download it in my browser and then i'll play there okay so i'm going to play it in my browser now <clears throat> okay, are you ready for the most ridiculous story of my life? I finally got the courage to audition for that play. <gasps> no way! You actually did it? Tell me everything. So I walk onto the empty stage. It's dead silent. I take a deep breath to start my monologue, and suddenly I completely forget my first line. Oh no. Oh, that's the worst feeling. I just stood there. I started to completely forget my first line. Oh no. That's the worst feeling. There, I started to do something trying to remember. Then my allergies kicked in from the dusty stage curtains. I let out a huge. <laughs> my allergies kicked in from the dusty stage curtains. I let out a huge. <laughs> It sounds absolutely awful. What did the director do? This is the crazy part. He just smiled. And then his phone, which was on the table, started making this loud. Okay. So that's it. So you see, it has just done 30 seconds of it. It has repeated a few things. And it has even missed some of the uh, emotions there, which, uh, to be fair, were, some of them were not present in their uh, emotions, which were listed in the documentation. And if you might have noticed, the speed was quite high. So I think we can lower the speed, thankfully. So if I just scroll down into the generation parameter, there is the speed factor. So maybe I will just make it like some, you would have to play with it, of course. So I'll just maybe go to nine or maybe let's keep it here and let's regenerate the audio and I will play it. Okay, this new audio is generated. Let me play it in the browser. Okay, are you ready for the most ridiculous story of my life? I finally got the courage to audition for that play. Oh, <gasps> no way! You actually did it? Tell me everything. So I walk onto the empty stage. It's dead silent. I take a deep breath to start my monologue, and suddenly I completely forget my first line. Oh, no. Ugh, that's the worst I feeling. I just stood there. I started to... I completely forget my first line. Oh, no. Ugh, that's the worst feeling. I just stood there. I started to... So I'm trying to remember. Then my allergies kicked in from the dusty stage curtains. I let out a huge... You're kidding me. In the middle of the audition? I'm not. I tried to play it off cool, but then I got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> what did the director do? This is the crazy... And that I think it's not bad. You just have to do a bit of an iterations, and then it starts getting it right. Uh, you would have to play around with the parameters. I think this is where the previous version was better, interestingly enough, where you didn't have to do much with these parameters. But I think th this might be a bit more flexible. So it still misses few things, but I think overall the quality has gone up, but I think it needs to follow the guidance more which they have mentioned and this speed looks pretty decent to me and i think they should also out of the box they should provide these uh, settings which would work for the general use cases and now let's try out a bit of a voice cloning so i have just uploaded uh, one of um, my own audio what is so this happy is happy this is in my own voice where I'm just talking about happiness or stuff. And then it's the same text prompt. I have generated this. Let's play this. Okay, are you ready for the most ridiculous story of my life? I finally got the courage to audition for that play. You see, so it is not really my voice. It has tried, but i think same like previous version it's not good enough here so that's it let me know what do you think about this model just share it in the comments if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much